Good afternoon to you. Happy Thursday. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. It's that time of the afternoon when we give you an update on what's happening in the tropics and we do have some action, especially in the eastern Pacific, but also a system we're monitoring in the Atlantic. So let's get right to it. This is a look at the western and southwestern Atlantic, and this is the system that we're still monitoring for possible development. The chance for development extremely low, only a 10 to 20% chance over the next two to seven days that this would form into a tropical depression, tropical storm or hurricane as it pushes slowly to the north around five to 10 miles per hour. This is going to come close to Bermuda right now. It's a couple hundred miles off to the south to southeast of Bermuda, so maybe some heavy rain getting close to Bermuda, but that is about it. I don't think it's going to have a major impact on any parts of the U.S. Let's head over to the eastern Pacific where we do have a lot of action. We have a newly formed tropical storm. This is tropical storm Beatrice and we do have Hurricane Adrian out in the eastern Pacific getting stronger as well. So the newly formed tropical storm will be brushing the southwestern Mexican coast and it will likely turn into a hurricane by tomorrow afternoon with 75 mile per hour winds and there are hurricane watches that go up and down the southwestern Mexican coast where there could be hurricane force winds winds, very heavy rain that could lead to flooding and also the potential for some dangerous storm surge. Currently, this tropical storm, a fairly weak one at 40 miles per hour, but rapid strengthening is forecast over the next 24 hours. Also, we've got Hurricane Adrian in the eastern Pacific, maximum sustained winds around 85 miles per hour and movement for this one to the west northwest at seven miles per hour. So that will take it away from Mexico and away from the US. It's going to meander out in the Pacific for a few days and then it will run into some sheer, a more unfavorable environment it will kind of get ripped apart and then it weakens as we go into the end of the week. So we're certainly not going to be dealing with Adrian impacting Mexico or the US as it is pushing away. Elsewhere in the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean Sea, things are pretty quiet. A few showers and storms around Jamaica, but nothing that is expected to turn into a tropical cyclone in the Gulf of Mexico. Pretty quiet at this point with that big heat dome sitting over us in Texas that's helping to steer those storm systems away. Out in the Atlantic, do we have anything rolling off of the west coast of Africa? Typically this time of the year, we don't see much of that. We've already had though multiple tropical waves roll off the west coast of Africa, but nothing that we are seeing right now developing. So things are pretty quiet there as well. But if we do get some development, we're still monitoring very warm sea surface temperatures. It's like bath water out there well into the 80s for the Gulf, well into the 80s for the Caribbean and unusually warm temperatures in the Atlantic as well could contribute to additional formations of these tropical systems. We've already had three named systems this season, Arlene, Brett and Cindy. And if we do get that system that is a few hundred miles away from Bermuda to develop into a tropical storm that would be named Don. So we've still got a lot of hurricane season to get through. These are the additional names that we would go through on the list. Next, we would have Emily, Franklin and Gert. But hopefully we won't have a super hectic, super busy season. And at this point, none of those tropical cyclones are headed towards us. Usually for an average season, we're talking about 14 named storms, seven hurricanes, three major hurricanes. We've already had three named storms. So we are going to continue to monitor for any additional development because we've got a long way to go. We're still in the early part of our hurricane season, still in the first month. Of course, the peak usually around August and September, the highest busiest portion of hurricane season, usually around September 10th, and that is the absolute peak. But towards the end of hurricane season, of course, things start to wind down and that would be closer to the end of November. So at this point, things are quiet, looking good for Southeast Texas. I don't see anything headed our way, at least for the next week or so. But of course, you still want to make sure you grab and download the Fox 26 weather app to get all things tropical, your forecast cones. We've got a cool follow me feature, all of the hurricane watches and warnings. And of course, you can grab your local weather while you're on the app as well and keep track of the heat wave and the increasing storm chances as we go into the 4th of July holiday weekend. Once again, I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shea. Enjoy the rest of your day.